database in node.js mysql as per the last video we have seen that we have secured the port number through the environment verified now in this video we will check for the database setup in node.js so for this we will go to our uh, website for downloading the mysql workbench so here the official website you can go and download the mysql workbench clicking on downloads so as i have already downloads i will open this file okay this is the community edition for 8.0 so here you can click on after clicking on this you will get a file as i have seen here so this is file we have we will downloading and it will asking for the location complete setup and we will see that my sql workbench for database connection with node.js so till the time that it's download we will see the steps like what we will do so after database setup in node.js what we will do we will create a schema for the student and after that we will create a table once the table gets created we will push the dummy data dummy values in our mysql database then we will connect the mysql database with the node.js and we will check with the package creation part okay after the package gets created we will again create a folder in the config file for managing the path okay great so now our node.js since mysql workbench is created we will continue with our setup now so this is the welcome screen of node.js now here we can create a connection here i will create a connection name say a connection name we can create here and test it let's say test connection i will do test node.js this is the connection name i am giving okay this is we are creating a node.js application now we it will be asking us to open a mysql editor and here you can create a schema okay or you can say for the test node.js application we will create our database here so for this we will go to our create new and this is would be the table uh, we can give the hard coded and if you want to do it by uh, like say by gui application we will create a new model here for the database and we will give it here the name of the database so i will give the name as per my document which is our student underscore db so this student of underscore db this will be our scheme i will press and utf column it will all go and it will add table now okay so this is our uh, schema gets created now student underscore db gets created great okay now i will refresh it pressing f5 function f5 okay student db gets created now what we wish to do we wish to add table in our sql schema so i will click click on add table here see the table we have to show here so we will add table here to table name we will give this will be our schema name table name will give students so the students uh, i have given the table name now in that student table name we have to add the column okay so here i will click on column this, this is our uh, students table once students table gets created what we have to do we have to add the column so i will double click on it so the what is the column name i will give student id so for this i will clearly mention the simple id for the student which is an integer value then i will give the second column as our uh, i'll press enter and second column i will give this as name which is our student name this is the student name which is will declare as where care okay next uh, we will give the role number for the students so i will give the name as role underscore i will click on here and i will give store oh, that's uh, student column student role number and the in type will be integer so on the list also you can select here and it will be integer okay now next column we will give here this name i will push is as fees which is also an integer value okay so integer i will select here next is class so class also which depending upon the students uh, section it will be our integer class okay 
and then we will give the column name as medium which medium students belong like english medium hindi medium or marathi medium or gujarati medium whichever medium it will will be a varicare entity and press enter so this 45 value we can give okay so this value which uh, we have created and this is all about our table first will be the primary key okay so this student table gets created and we are good with our database entity okay now what we have to do next thing we have to push manual data into the dummy or dummy values into the mysql so what we will push we will do the insert command or we can directly push the data here suppose in id i have to push here so i will create the data i will create on insert include model so in that okay if it is our uh, default then to last view and edit so open recent will open uh, it is different okay now i have to push the data here so in the students table okay so now i will here write it the id i have to give so default value which is asking and similarly for the name if you want to change you can add the values so let's see here so we will put insert dummy data into the students table with uh, the students underscore db so either you can write uh, this sql script in our script tab or you can insert it manually so here also we can edit it so suppose i have to insert this data so i will uh, use name in the id field i will use this and name i can use it this john doe okay so likewise uh, our data will get inserted john doe roll number i will give suppose a uh, uh, student name then roll number one two three okay suppose i will give the roll number as one then fees is 1500 okay then uh, class if it is uh, suppose it's in 10th class then uh, medium it's suppose english okay then again i will give it uh, the next tab i will do second value <coughs> so this is the insert function and i can uh, i am inserting here the dummy data so second value i will give john smith then with the roll number two from chat gpt also you can take the data and you can allow us to manage it then next thing we can do is the roll number part which is two we can give and the value suppose i have to give same again i will give dummy value with the, here i will give the ten uh, suppose uh, fifth class and it's suppose uh, marathi the language then third value if i will have to give then i will give michael brown and uh, this value i will insert here three then i will insert here 1400 zero, zero. then i will insert let's say the dummy data which is in ninth class then uh, here you can write it the language as this then fourth one i will do so likewise i can, i am inserting here the dummy data in our uh, database and uh, in that way we will be able to manage our uh, workflow okay then suppose i will write here gujarati language then i will do apply changes okay so once that data gets created so we will click on save here in the student table and apply changes to the data okay now we will double click on student table so we have the data now okay then now we will uh, to go to our our database uh, we will check for co we connection with mysql database so how the connection will be we will be doing uh, with the mysql database with node.js okay so for that we have to go to our uh, node.js.com uh, website from here we will go to our uh, terminal and from for this website we can do uh, we can have our uh, node.js uh, website <coughs> so we'll go npmjs.com i will do google and do npmjs.com for getting the packages so i will click on package here 
and here you can search for the package which is mysql2 for the connectivity to the uh, node.js database to the mysql database uh, through node.js packages okay so here we have to check for the documentation we will install this uh, package in our uh, you know our project so we will i will click on here npm install and dev save okay so uh, here it is free this package is free to install and i will go to the my terminal in our node.js and a fresh new terminal with the mysql2 package installed so it's installing the package now okay now this package is since it's installed now what we can do we would be applying the changes to our uh, script means how our script will run uh, in our uh, code base that we will see so now what we have to create a new way to create a new folder named config in root directory so this is my root directory node.js project which is named here and in here uh, i will create a new file called config it is sorry new folder i will create so i will click on the second button which is a folder config okay and in that folder i will create a new file so what's the file name i have to give db.js so this file will be responsible for managing the database connection uh, in our uh, root directory in under config folder and this is our db.js uh, file is ready now what we have to do next thing we would uh, write it in this db.js file we will include it in our database uh, the packages and we will create a uh, mysql pool to refer the documentation so for this i will create a, a pool mysql pool for which we will be referring our node.js documentation so mysql pool this documentation it will follow how they have managed the connection we will see here so let's see with our basics after installation how they have used it in our application so we have to write the first query so this is our connection string and we can give it here our connection pool so this is a type of connection to the database and since we have imported so uh, import function we have already written here which is uh, it is would be importing it from this statement okay and uh, server.js we have to import it right so server.js i will write this statement first because we have to import it to in order to have the connectivity to the database so i will use this command to server.js for importing these packages okay now in db.gsp i will create a connection pool so connection pool uh, we will create it through the documentation which is this the documentation we have yeah. and uh, uh, in that way we would be able to manage it so that name just i will change here mysql pool we will give instead of connection that will be helpful for us to manage the code pipeline and next i will uh, give the database now in the host name when we go to mysql workbench what is our host name so we'll have to check the connection here okay so what is the connection here uh, our connection is node.js we have given the name as uh, node.js here new model connection okay this is our model and uh, when we check on our uh, okay, it's asking us to open the model okay can manage connections to manage connections so which is 127.0.0.1 so this i will copy it from here and put it here then username is root we have the root database name of what we have given it's uh, our students underscore db okay so database name we will copy it here from our uh, documentation and we will paste it here this is the database name and next thing we have so that's all we have to do this password we will be uh, needing it for connecting to our connection okay no problem port also if you want you can specify it can do the test connection here okay failed root user okay we will check in our uh, details connection details here port also i can specify 
3306 this will be helpful for the database to pull from the okay at this i will save it and next thing what we will do we will import the mysql connection and use the query function okay now this query function i will directly copy it and put it in our uh, database here i will put it uh, in our server.js file because this would be the connection string which would be responsible for managing it okay mm -hmm. so this connection string wait there is a syntax error so we will uh, do the connection string in uh, our uh, server.js file so last uh, in that way we, we we have configured the db.js file with the module.exports function so this is our connection pool which we have created and now server.js file what we will do we'll do the conditional listen because we want us to have our query listen to our database okay and in that way if we will select them then the mysql connection uh, will be established and it will listen for the port which we had defined in env file which is port 8080 and otherwise if it says an error then the catch it will be displayed the error so let's run our node.js application now npm run server okay let me try once again mysql pool is not defined okay because we have used import also here let's see this import sql and here when we try to import it we used to have import promise okay that we have done it already so let's save it again and try wait let me check if it is not there so our uh, 127.802 test we will try to run our application okay again we will terminate the job and again we will run the server npm run server let's see okay mysql pool is not defined okay where we have not defined it okay here we have to define it so mysql pool will automatically that variable will come and again the server is restarted let's see the file is getting changes so terminating the job again npm run server app crushed mysql dot query is not a function okay dot query is not a function mysql pool okay we will define mysql pool and so let's we define it as a constant because uh, the value it's not taking it so we'll define it in constant and because it's not uh, identifying the variable no it's okay because we have defined it previously so that's not an error sql connection we have imported it export mysql to promise let me refresh it again Okay, this is not getting the connected select one create pool is okay database uh, 3306 my sql pool so the console log will come here and the database process that in the console log will allow error let's try once again we will again terminate the job let's try run again type mysql dot it's not the connection okay let me to start from stint underscore db let's try this function and run the query npm run dev what star from waiting for file changes my sql pool dot query is not a function it's not identifying the function okay we'll check on this on the next video what we can do the best to solve this problem so to stay connected for our videos and we will basically create a more 
SQL videos on the MySQL workbench with the Node.js. So this is all about our database setup in Node.js. We will track this error and we'll check for the solutions. Thank you for watching.